can you guys tell that I have been obsessed with decluttering and organizing my home? I really just don't know what has gotten into me lately. Maybe it's because it's starting to feel a lot warmer outside. Spring is going to be here in like literally a couple of days and I am just like feeling energized and wanting to tackle all of the to-do lists that I have um, and really just start to prep my home for some spring cleaning. So I'm starting the process clearly with getting rid of things that I just no longer am gravitated towards. I don't feel as if I have the need to hold on to things that I just don't use anymore, things that just no longer serve me. And I have really been enjoying organizing, decluttering, purging, and all of the things. So today I am really gonna be focusing on a couple of areas in my home that I feel as if have been neglected for a little while. I want to declutter and organize the drawer in my kitchen island. This space has been a bit of a mess for a while. Things are getting caught um, as I'm trying to open and close the drawer. So we're definitely gonna get that all neat and organized. There is one last drawer that I have to organize in my pantry to get that whole space um, looking nice and neat. And I also want to tackle both of our bedroom closets. So. You guys have seen me do my massive clothing purge where I went through every single piece of clothing that I had for both myself and my daughter. Um, so in my room, I'm just gonna be focusing on the top shelf. There are a couple of like bins that I haven't gone through in a really long time. And I definitely do know that there are going to be some things that I need to throw away and, you know, give away, donate all of the things. And then in my daughter's room, I'm just gonna go quickly go through all of her clothes for the most part. Um, I decluttered as much as I possibly could when I, you know, was going through all of our clothes. But I do just want to take a look at her closet. I know I need to refold and organize her dresser drawers. So we're going to be doing that in today's video. Um, I have been wanting to get an acrylic calendar for a really long time. I like to have a calendar right near the door. It just helps me stay organized with all of our schedules and everything that we have going on. Riley is in so many different after school activities and it can be a little bit challenging just trying to keep up with everything and I figured going the route of having an acrylic calendar would be a lot better um, because it's something that I can use year after year rather than getting like um, your traditional calendar for that one set year if that makes sense so I ordered something off of Amazon it finally came in so we're going to put that up and just like organize our schedule and then the last thing that I really want to focus on in this video is one that I have been thinking about for a very 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 long time I want to organize the hallway closet it's for the most part inside the closet is pretty organized but I really want to just maximize the space by utilizing the inside of the door we do have a couple of command hooks that are up there but um I I know we can do better basically so you I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to the container store we're gonna pick out some things um, and then hopefully we can get that space um, kind of like updated organized and get rid of a couple of things as well so we have a lot to do in today's video so definitely make sure to stay all the way to the end to see how I declutter and organize all of the spaces in my home make sure to like and subscribe and let's jump right into the video That's something, baby, that I can go without Just like a poison in me You're all that I'm about Loving the highs, don't mind the lows It's getting out of my control I want that something, baby Cause I can go without Mama used to tell me Love ain't right if it ain't easy But I'm in 
Okay, so this drawer is pretty much cleaned out. It looks a lot more organized. I can actually see what's in here. I am gonna have to purchase some more like bags, so I did wanna leave a little bit of space here. And then I felt as if it would be better to put all of the like kitchen towels in here just because having them in that other drawer, it was like getting caught. I think they were just a little bit too big. So I think this is perfect to put them here. And then um, I was able to save um a couple of these little organizers so i just put these chocolates that riley randomly brought home and now i have two of them left i'm not quite sure where i'm going to use them i really wish that they were just a little bit shorter so i can actually organize my desk drawer but i have yet to find any organizers that will fit in there so right now we're kind of having to keep it as a little bit of a mess and i will just store these away i'll find some other place to use them for but for now i'll just store them away so the next area i want to organize is going to be riley's closet um it's not terrible at all um, but there are some things that are just like falling on the floor I do want to get rid of that white bin that's up there and I think I could store maybe some of her like toys up there because I kind of just have one of the houses sitting right there. It definitely won't fit in the closet so I think I should definitely be able to get it up there. Um, I do need to also go through her drawers. Um, those need a little bit of help so that's basically what we're going to do. We're just going to organize, tidy it up. A little bit also we went to home goods a couple weeks ago and she picked out these really cute uh pink glittery hangers so um i told her i would incorporate those into her closet there are some things that are kind of like doubled up a little bit because when all of her laundry is completely you know washed and all of the things sometimes we have ran out of hangers so we're just going to kind of organize and get that going.
All right, so we have everything neat and organized. Drawers are neat and everything. Um, clearly, I just organized the shoes that are in her closet here. Now, I am thinking about getting rid of this bow organizer that I made a really long time ago. Um, I feel as if a lot of the bows she doesn't really wear. And I'm thinking about almost getting one of those... Um, door organizers from the container store but I'm kind of thinking like what am I going to put on the door so I want to just think about that first before just spending the money um, I was able to get the mini fridge up there and then as far as her Halloween costume I don't think she's going to be able to fit it next year but I know that she does not want to get rid of it just yet so I think what I'm going to do is take that and then just stuff it in her um what's it called her suitcase you know might as well use that storage inside um, as well and then this area over here is basically the things that I am going to either donate and then the plastic um, what's it called plastic hangers I will throw those out I just got to the container store and I really have been wanting to organize the hallway closet for the most part now that we have all of Riley's toys contained in those plastic bins and then I also of course have all of my like Christmas decor and stuff. I really want to maximize the space by utilizing the inside of the door. Right now I have a couple of command hooks but I do feel as if I will be able to get more storage if I end up purchasing like an over the door organizational system. I know the container store has one and online I saw that you can buy like the whole set like it's like a pre-made set but I actually want to build my own so I think if I go into the store I should be able to pick out each set and create the one that I you know that will work best for me. So fingers crossed um, that I will be able to find everything, everything will be in stock, and then um, we can kind of head home and see how it works. got everything that I needed it was right up at the front um I do want to do the same thing with my door and also Riley's door but I want to try this out first and see how it works and then we can kind of organize our stuff another day so here is what my closet looks like Again, I had already gone through all of my clothes. I made sure that we purged everything that I don't actually wear. Um, so we have this portion all neat and organized. And honestly, the bottom is as neat as I can kind of really get it. Um, but up at the top is really where I want to organize. These two bins I barely ever go through. Um, so it's been some time since I have gone and opened them and all of the things. So I do want to take those down, see what's in there. Um, some of these are just like Riley's toys um, and things. Hopefully once we get to the hallway closet, maybe I can put one or the, the only two things that are in there. And then, you know, I just have like hair for doing hair and all that stuff. So this is what we're going to tackle today. Best to hold on, but I feel myself giving. You know that we shouldn't. 
keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't want to change who you are The things you say is always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry again don't give up we're holding on for what it's worth i'll try to change we can't fix our broken hearts loving me is not so goddamn easy as i think you try your best to hold up but i see you're giving in you know that we shouldn't keep it up like this we hurt each other's feelings on and on So this is all of my like tech gear. Some things I don't use anymore, but it's definitely not something I would just like throw away. I would want to go do the proper thing of getting rid of some of the cameras. Um, like I really don't use this Sony camera anymore. And I don't know if honestly, could I trade it in and get, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars or so and maybe put towards a new one. I'm not sure, but I definitely need to look into that. Um, I have no idea what, I think this battery goes to an old Canon camera I have, but again, I don't really want to throw out anything just in case. So I'm going to hold on to all of the batteries. At least I was able to consolidate from two bags to now one. So this is how it looks right now. Um, I didn't end up needing to keep the pink one. So I don't know if I want to throw it out just yet or maybe see how I can use it down at the bottom. Maybe take any of her extra toys that are in here and put into the pink bag. I'm not quite sure, but I am just going to hold on to it for, you know, just a little bit of time um, because I can always just repurpose um bins instead of just like throwing them out um and then honestly besides this bag and maybe the hat and i think just there's two wallets there everything else is just going to be thrown oh maybe the bag too um everything else is just going to be thrown into the trash so i picked up an acrylic calendar to be put right near the front door i feel as if i mentioned that probably all the way back in january but i was doing no spend january so i had to hold off um, i just wanted something really small something simple and i found this one i need to just lint and stuff like that but i found this one you can't really see um the the um writing too much but it's all we need so you have kind of like the monthly view and then all the way up at the top you do have um like a weekly view which i think would be perfect especially every single week um for riley school they have like certain letter days and on those letter days it lets us know what the special 
I guess like it's called like what the special either like activity or focus is for that specific day whether it's like art science gym dance like all the things and depending on what day it is uh, on certain days she needs to wear sneakers and and without having a calendar right near the door I sometimes forget what day it is and then I may send her to school in like Crocs or something like that and then have to go back just to be able to drop off some sneakers for her. So um, being able to write down which letter day it is every single week is just going to help me stay a little bit more organized. So just kind of organizing our life and, and you know doing all the things what I did love about this acrylic calendar is the fact it comes in two sizes so this is actually the smaller size I didn't want anything too big like the one that's in my um bedroom like in where my um off office desk is but I do like the fact that it comes with a set of markers so I really really like that the only thing I was like not necessarily not saying impressed with is the fact like there's no black marker like we need to have a black marker i love the colors and all the things but i think i'll probably run to like the dollar tree or the next time i'm at like target or something like that i'll just pick up a black sharpie well not sharpie black um dry weight race marker um it does also come with like a little cleaning cloth that has you know this little thing so you could just have it hooked on and then it has everything you need to do to set it up. A leveler also comes with this little like eraser so you can erase anything off that way. Um, and then all the little tools you need to put it up on the board. So we are going to try and get this set up. Um, it, the directions looked pretty easy. Um, and then I will just like organize everything, put all of the things like our big schedule and everything because trying to keep up with Riley's schedule, like there are literally only two days out of the entire week where she has nothing going on. <clears throat> two days out of seven. So she is busy five, no, yeah, five days out of the week. Um, whether you know all of her after school activities swim dance gymnastics all of the things so just having a place that's right near the door is just going to help me um be a little bit more organized and mindful and thoughtful of all the stuff that um, she has going on what day she has off from school what day she gets out of school early um, because we do have spring break that's going to be coming up as well so this is going to be perfect let's get some sun baby it's time to go Get
we finally got our calendar organized. Um, as you guys can see, we definitely have a lot going on. Everything is in blue is some type of after school activity type of thing that she has going on. Um, I do eventually will probably color cord it. Um, but right now I just kind of wanted to get everything up. Um, I put in the days that she has no school, her minimum session days, the days that she gets out of school early. And then up at the top, this is just going to be what day of the week so I will remember what days she has to wear her sneakers and then what days she can wear whatever shoes that she likes but yep this is our schedule I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put these markers I used to keep mail up here but with the door opening in and out um, with the door constantly opening um, it started falling so maybe I might just take them out of the package and put them up here not quite sure but um, I am able just to hang the cloth there so it's easy to um, wipe off and then I'll also put the erase like the dry erase marker thing up there as well just making everything really easy this is going to be so helpful um, I had a little bit of trouble putting it up as you guys can see there's a hole right here I'll just patch that um, the little white um, pieces that you're supposed to like hammer in there they were very flimsy they kept bending so I don't even think you need them just screw it in like it's not a heavy calendar at all so um, I will just like patch that up and that's no problem um, but yeah I really really do love it all right so you guys saw we got everything we needed from the container store yesterday I just was I've been feeling so tired and not like myself and I think it's just because of the daylight savings and losing an hour and I don't know but today we're gonna um get this hallway closet in order this is what the closet looks like so it's not terrible you know what I mean we're working with what we have now this is a little bit of an eyesore I'm not even going to lie but we have all of her toys down here in the corner well on this side we have the three bins and then over here is at the bottom I have all of our Christmas decor and then a majority of this is taken up by the Christmas tree and I don't have any other option or any other place to put it unless I just keep my Christmas tree up all year round and I don't want to do that. Um, I could probably put these two things in Riley's closet. Those are just her like dance recital costumes. But we really don't have much room when it comes to like hanging our jackets. Thankfully spring is going to be here. So we're not really going to have to do anything with jackets. But I really want to tackle the top shelf. The issue is that it's a slant. So you can't really put too much stuff. That's why I do have, you know, those kind of like two bins. And I'm not really sure what else I could really style it beside, or not style, but like what else I can really put up there besides like um, I've been putting wrapping paper rolls just because like they're, um, they can kind of still fit all the way back there. Um, but I do just have a hot mess of just like all of my random bags. And then down here at the bottom is Riley's little jacket. And then I hang her book bag up at the top. But I want to put it where she can access both of her stuff down here at the bottom so that is kind of the goal so we're just gonna get started and do our best i can't believe that you came into my life you made me feel again now it's my turn you say you've always been a little bit shy but i can put an end to your fears let me show you a place where you
Here is the finished look. I definitely do think it looks a lot more organized. Up at the top doesn't seem as crazy as it was before. Um, I will be decorating a little bit for spring, so that is most likely going to be the um, wreath for Riley's door, because you guys know we decorate her bedroom door like an apartment door, since I don't believe we can still put anything or hang things up outside of my apartment, which is absolutely crazy. Um, here, um, up at the top is basically just like random um, hats and stuff like that for school for her. And then I wasn't quite sure what to put here, but then I did have some things that were just laying around in my um, room near my office that I felt like I could free up some space there. So basically this is just anything like office kind of related. And then this basket was originally, I was actually going to exchange this out for another big one but I feel as if I probably should still do that what do you guys think um I originally I was thinking about like just laying all of our gloves and stuff in here but now that the spring is basically going to be here like I'm going to store all that stuff away and that's why I you guys saw me take that stuff out but I do think I want to exchange this for just another one of these larger bins and I had also gotten two of these because up at the top I was thinking of just hanging all of our hats but then they were kind of I guess maybe hanging a little bit low but now that this is here I might be able to drop this a little bit so we might still just give that a try if not if it does not work then what I'm going to do is I will um just exchange it and I did want this to sit a little bit lower but now I realize like maybe I might not be able to do a bigger bin I think I'm going to play around with it just because of the door handle um it's in the way so I don't think that if this was a longer basket I would have been able to get it fit to um to have it fit so I think if anything I might just keep this or I might see about possibly lowering these two a little bit and then putting this piece on so I can at least hang the hats all the way up at the top but from the space from the amount of space that I have I think this looks pretty good um also here, um, I got a pack of like six hooks, which is really inexpensive. So I just put Riley's um, umbrella, her little jacket, and then when she um, has her book bag, I can hang the book bag in here. And this is something that she can access on her own. Um, so I no longer have to worry about having her book bag all the way up at the top like it was before. From a garbage perspective, this is everything that I'm going to be throwing away. Um, my jacket ended up breaking a couple weeks ago and I can't even donate it at this point because the whole thing kind of like broke. So I'm going to throw that out. Um, her little stool broke. I don't know. <laughs> it's just one of those days. So I'm probably going to have to pick up one um, because she uses that to like brush her teeth and all of the things. But this is everything that I was able to get out of the closet that I didn't need. And um, that is why it's just so good to go through and declutter and organize your stuff because you'll be surprised with how much stuff you actually find just like piled up as mess. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I am surprised with how much stuff we were actually really able to get done. Um, it's definitely taken me a couple of days, but you guys already know when it comes to organizing and decluttering your space, it takes a lot of time. Um, so I like to just break things up. And I would say that the next thing that I really need to start to focus on is deep cleaning my home for the springtime, especially now that it's starting to like really actually feel like spring and we already lost that hour. So you guys, I'm struggling. 
with losing that hour of sleep. But I would say that now my favorite um, spaces is definitely going to be the acrylic calendar and making sure to stay on top of all of our, you know, schedules and all of the things. And then definitely the hallway closet. I think this is like the neatest it has ever looked. And although I am limited on space and it's not going to like be a full transformation, I really like how it is right now. Um, and it also gets me excited because I am looking to do the same thing with the inside of Riley's closet and utilizing that space and just like updating where her like bows and all of that kind of stuff is and also doing the same thing for my closet as well that's where I plan to put all of like those purses that you guys saw just like hanging up on the door but I wanted to see how this was going to work first and I really do love this I think it's the alpha system so I will have everything linked down below for you guys in case you were looking to purchase one or you know get some organizing done done um, because my favorite thing about this one in particular is the fact that you don't have to screw into the actual door so it is renter friendly and definitely worth the worth the cost so um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it gave you guys all of the motivation to start tackling some messy areas in your home if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed please make sure to subscribe like this video and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye